Hey, it's Kristen, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your name or logo into a Procreate brush stamp. So to get started, we are in the Procreate app, and I'm going to tap the plus sign to create a new canvas, and I'm going to just go ahead and use the square canvas, which is 2048 by 2048 pixels. And in here, this is where you would add um, whatever it is you wanna make into a stamp, whether it's your signature or your business logo or any type of word or artwork design. And um, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste uh, a logo signature that I made in here. Now, um, this is going to be all black on a white background, but one of the things I wanna do is resize this to make it as big as I can and then center it like so and then tap off of the arrow. Now we want to add this into a Procreate brush so to do that I'm going to copy it so go to the wrench, add and say copy canvas and now let's go to our brushes and you can add this brush to any brush set. Um, if you don't want it to add, add it to an existing brush set, you can go ahead and tap the plus sign at the top of the brush library to create a new set. And then you can name that to be whatever you want. I'm just going to say stamps. And then in this plus sign right here in the brush library, we're gonna tap that. And under stroke path, we're gonna turn our spacing all the way up then we're going to go to shape and this is where we're going to add what we copied from our canvas so we're going to hit edit whoops edit import and then paste now this is um, inverted so with two fingers you're just going to tap to um, invert the colors and then when you're finished hit done and then let's go to apple pencil and we want to turn the opacity all the way down. Let's go to properties. I'm going to turn on use stamp preview and orient to screen. And then this preview size we can play with after we see what it looks like in our brush library. And maximum size, I'm gonna turn all the way up and make sure minimum size is down. Maximum opacity all the way up and minimum opacity is down. And then under about this brush, you can go ahead and name it here. So it might say, I don't know, Kristen logo. And you can add your photo, you can add your name and your signature there. And when you're finished, go ahead and hit done. Now you can see the preview is um, way too large. So let's go back in and go back to properties and turn that preview size down see what that looks like that looks a lot better I can now actually see what that is and now if I turn off that layer and add a new layer I now have a stamp that I can add to my artwork or use as a watermark or um, you know for my business or whatever so if you have any questions let me know and if you would like me to make a stamp for you you can check out my etsy shop where i will use my personal hand lettered calligraphy and make um appropriate stamp for you so you can um, get the link to that in the description below thanks for watching